How do you balance not putting too much emphasis on your job or responsibilities in the world, but still fulfilling our role or duties? Well, how do you balance between this and that? Okay, whatever you do in life as far as responsibilities and duties, which is also a given, you must attend to them. You're, you're a husband, you're a father, you're a, you're a wife, you're a mother, you have a family to look after. There are certain obligations, there are certain responsibilities to, to attend to, and you must, and the Lord will demand that of you, by the way. So how do you balance between that and what the Lord wants from you? In everything you do, put the Lord in it. That's how you balance it. So before you go out, say, Lord, let's go together. Before you take one step, say, Lord, let me take this step in your mighty name. Before you attend to anyone, say, Lord, I'm bringing you with me because the one who can help, the one who can change, the one who can protect, the one who can mold, shape, and enlighten is you. All you need to do, the work is the Lord's, not you. Your task is to carry the Lord in your heart and take him everywhere he wishes for you to take him. The work is his, not yours. Father, mother, brother, sister, church leader, don't ever think that we are working in the house of the Lord, that we are organizing things in the house of the Lord, that we are building churches for the Lord, that we are bringing people to the Lord. Everything is the Lord. I am just a vessel carrying the Lord. And when I allow him to work through me, he will do wonders and miracles. But the one who does is the Lord. Because remember, who is the Lord to you? the breath of life and the Lord God breathed through the nostrils of Adam the breath of life and Adam became a living soul every time you're able to breathe remember this is Jesus Christ of Nazareth so if we are not alive forget about talking about I'm going to work and I'm going to build and I'm going to do this without life there is nothing we cannot do anything. This is why the Lord says it very clearly and straightforward in John 15, 5. He says, without me, I, Jesus Christ, you cannot do anything. You cannot do nothing without me. Why? Because I am the breath of your life. I am your life. And without life, show me what you can do. So when you're able to wake up, it is me. When you're able to go to work, it is me. When you're able to build, it is me. When you're able to provide, it is me. So how can I balance between the responsibilities of the world? And it's not the world. The Lord has given you that responsibility. Therefore, you need to acknowledge His presence in that responsibility. And say, Lord, I thank you. I've worked all week and I'm still safe and sound. And I received that wage at the end of the week and I came and brought this and this and this for the house. Everything is you, Lord. Everything is you. And when you love the Lord Jesus and when you put him first and foremost in your life, there is no problem.